the dive that was 70 minutes long, and it was it was absolutely gorgeous because I felt this feeling of uh, this lack of um, overbearing doom that I always kind of felt in the subconscious. And it took me a while to figure out what this was. I felt this euphoric feeling that everything was just bliss, and, and I just had this complete freedom. A retired Air Force pilot injured in the line of duty in 2002 is doing something he thought was lost to him, scuba diving. And he is one of many veterans with disabilities who are facing their challenges underwater with an organization called Dive Heart. It is a Downers Grove-based nonprofit that helps people with disabilities, and it is now partnering with Illinois children's author and veteran mom, Echo Morgan. She wrote the book, Scuba Matt's Underwater Adventure, and is donating 50% of proceeds to help Dive Heart's military wounded program. Now, this is all in honor of her late son, military veteran Matt Morgan. And we are joined by Jim Elliott with Dive Heart and Echo Morgan. Hello to both of you today on this Veterans Day. Such a great story to share. And Jim, I want to start with you. How did Dive Heart come about? Oh, Jim, we can't hear you. We need you to unmute yourself. Sometimes that happens. Well, what you know what? While you're figuring that out, we can talk to Echo because Echo, I want to know about your book and tell me how your book came mm. about. Okay, Jim, we can hear you now. Okay, great. Okay, um, okay, so let's go back to you then, Jim. Uh, tell okay. me about Dive Heart <laughs> and how it all came about. Okay, yeah, we uh, we're five hundred one c three nonprofit. Um, I'm a volunteer. I left uh, the, actually the media business to to start this after my kids were grown and gone. And um, I had been guiding and teaching blind skiers since the eighties, and I saw how downhill skiing uh, would help people who were blind, and it was actually a therapy. And I thought, wow, if, if skiing can do this, I can imagine what diving can do because I've been diving since I was a journalism student in college. I thought if I ever met Jacques Cousteau, I better know how to scuba dive. Mm -hmm. And, it, and it, I fell in love with it. It's the closest thing there is to being an astronaut. So I, I kind of rolled the dice and thought it was going to be a little club thing and um, started getting veterans and people with disabilities in pools around the Chicagoland area primarily to start. But, but now we're worldwide helping uh, veterans and children and other people with disabilities all over the world. And we've heard the reaction to it from the pilot that we just had that sound from with and so somehow you and echo got together echo let's share your story about your book first of all and your son and how the two of you both jim and you got together sure um my son matthew uh, passed away last year in addition to being an active military member he was serving in okinawa when he passed away in february of 2020 he was also an avid scuba diver and as you can imagine, uh, losing a child is absolutely devastating. Um, but during my grief, I, I just really needed to do something positive. I had a very, very, very strong need to ensure that my son's memory was never forgotten. So out walking one day, I came up with the idea of writing my first children's book. I published it. It's called Scuba Matt's Underwater Adventure. It's a children's book with a character, Scuba Matt, who takes readers on an adventure to meet uh, a variety of sea animals and marine life. It's fun. It's rhyming. It's uh, educational. And it's what started as a small project has grown and I was introduced to Jim from Dive Heart, a um, wonderful organization. And so now what we've done is decided to donate 50% of the profits, at least 50% of the profits of every book sold to Dive Heart organization mm -hmm. to create a scuba diving training grant in my son's name to, um, and to uh, provide scuba therapy to wounded military veterans. Isn't that interesting? I think the two of you were meant to meet, weren't you? Because he, here he has this organization at scuba diving and then you've written this book in honor to continue the legacy of your son and so now you guys are working together this is such a beautiful thing that you've created how can the public support dive hard and also support you echo so I'll go first. Uh, so if you want to purchase a book, uh, you can go ahead to my website. It's uh, www.redfinbooks.com. And again, 50% of all the books sold will donate, uh, will go towards Dive Heart. Jim, I'm curious, how many people, you said this has become a national thing now, how many people has Dive Heart helped? Um, and I want to know maybe one of the, the most memorable stories, uh, reactions mm -hmm. that you have received from one of the people who has undergone this therapy. Well, it, it's really interesting that you showed Ian, um, who is now a doctor in New Jersey. Um, he's a paraplegic, and he um, he's now uh, he came up to me 
two days into a dive trip and said, Jim, you're not going to believe this. I've been in chronic pain for 15 years, and this is the first time I'm pain free since my injury. Mm-hmm. And we found out later that his pain subsided for two weeks after the trip. So what we found is if we get people deep enough, it actually is very therapeutic. And there's, um, we've been told there's an extra output of serotonin, which has helped with PTSD symptoms, helps with uh, pain management. And we anecdotally have seen this for years, but we do research with university medical centers all over the country to, to help you know, call out the benefits of scuba therapy and hopefully want to build a deep warm water therapy pool um not too far from great lakes naval base and um <clears throat> you know do what we you know in a warm water confined environment do what um we can we see in open water all the time so uh, where we have you know safe controlled um team you know around the individual with the disability but uh, we, we serve people of all abilities and wow. the easiest way to, to support us is really i mean facebook has been a very good <laughs> source um if people do fundraising uh, pages for us they do birthday fundraisers for us on facebook and, and facebook doesn't charge um any fees any credit card fees so well, that is they actually, fantastic yeah. all the money goes straight to you wow what a beautiful thing you've created and i love that the two of you found each other i think it was destiny we are so happy that you joined us to share your story jim elliott with dive Heart and echo morgan with scuba mats underwater adventure good luck with all the fundraising on this it's going to a great cause Thank you. Okay, you take Thanks. care. Coming up, are you looking for something for the children to watch this weekend? Jim-